Did nothing less.
Masterful victory!
massive statue stands vigil here, looking almost as though it is taking the measure of those who pass through. the stone tablet that has information about New Terra recorded on it. You rush over to the tablet, but suddenly... You guessed it. A monster appears and attacks.
There appears to be some writing on the stone tablet. You ask Polka to decipher it, but the script appears to be from a language that even one of his considerable knowledge has never seen. The four of you decide to ask the guru about the tablet. You decide to exit the ruined edifice immediately. You look at Trollis and say, you don't have to go into the village if you don't want to. She assures you that it's fine and comes along anyway. As you make your way into town, the apothecary approaches. Before you can say anything, the man blurts out an apology to Trollis. The sudden contrition is a surprise and not just to you. Legol and Polka are clearly taken aback, too. The guru must have explained things. Everyone in the village has accepted Trollis by the sound of it. The apothecary's attention is devoted to preparing some kind of medicine. I'll need to get this to everyone in town, he says. The woman pays you absolutely no heed and eats with single-minded focus. The boy averts his eyes from your group. I have to get ready, he says, weaving flowers with considerable fervor. Your ears and that tail are quite lovely, the man says to Trollis, his tone light and amiable. of stone is an integral part of our town's rituals. One might go so far as to call it the soul of the village. You find it all a little bit unsettling. Hoping to move the conversation along, you ask what is written on it about Nutera. The guru gives a deep bow of the head at your question. Thank you. 
You're stunned at the news. She lied to you in order to get you to retrieve the tablet. Your shoulders droop, and you struggle to get the words out. So, Nutera is... But the guru replies in a solemn voice. You do not need to worry. Nutera does exist, and I know the way there. It is found to the north, beyond a massive cliff that towers over the land called the End Wall. She goes on to explain that to get there, you must travel through the cave to the north. With that, she offers a final prophecy. What you seek shall be found in New Terra. There's something desolate in her expression. Go forth to New Terra, she says, something desolate in her expression. The moment you leave the shrine, you sense that something is amiss. The village is suffocatingly quiet. Polka lets out a little scream and points at a villager collapsed on the ground. The old man has breathed his last. Stay alert, Legol whispers so that only the group can hear. The shrine's door is locked tight. You need to investigate the village. The old man is dead, his gentle face frozen. The boy is dead, surrounded by artificial flowers. The woman is dead, but the hand on her full stomach suggests her end was met in satiety. Though it looks like she is just sleeping, the proprietor is dead. A bottle of medicine has tumbled over next to the corpse of the apothecary. Having examined several of the bodies, Pulka reports that the cause of their death appears to have been suicide by poison. You remember the desolate expression on the guru's face, and you realize you need to rush back to the Shrine of Light. Legol rears up and breaks the door open with a mighty kick. The guru is collapsed, bleeding on the ground. You run over to her and try to help her sit up. Her eyes flutter open, and she looks over your group. They have all passed without incident then, she says with a feeble smile. You take one of her limply hanging hands and ask, Why? She said as much. They have a creed here in the village. And that creed is absolute. Be kind to people and kill monsters. And this village's hatred for monsters runs deep, having taken root long, long ago. Those feelings cannot be changed, nor can the creed. The guru produces the stone tablet from the ruins. 
so long as we have this, our souls shall be guided to their rest, she murmurs. Trollis bursts into tears and says that this was all her fault. No, says the guru softly. It was mine. She was prepared for this and invited you in with full understanding of what would happen. Despite all of that, she still wished to get the stone tablet back from the monster. They were all tired. The many years of being caught up between their hatred and their creed had made the villagers and the guru alike exhausted with life. With one last word of thanks, the guru gently breathes her last breath. Thus did the monster-loathing village pass to dust, a visceral demonstration of what happens when you mix faith with hate. You and your companions dig, dig long, deep holes, graves. You feel it's only right to give the dead a proper burial. That's one grave complete. You let out a long sigh. You wonder how the others are faring. Even rest should wait until the graves are dug. You find Trollis and Legol filling one of the graves. Trollis is in shock. Had she not come to the village, everyone might still be alive. They made their choice. We bear no responsibility for their fate, Legol says, trying to comfort her. Silence hangs in the air. They break ground on a fresh grave. You leave them be. Legol silently digs another grave. Polka gazes at the Shrine of Light, where the Guru lived with her family. You ask Polka if perhaps it was better this way. He shakes his head and says, there are many things in this world he does not understand. As you leave, you hear him speaking softly to himself. Though closure yet escapes you, the graves have been dug. The party agrees it is time to sleep, or at least to try. The village is all too quiet as your party rouses from slumber. Everyone sets about preparing to pass through the cave leading to the end wall. 